Okay, so here is another test problem. I made this problem. Uh, so I, I think, uh, you know, I'm doing online classes and I really like that I give the students a, a Google Doc and this is actually an animated GIF, which I don't know, maybe it's not a really big deal, but I, it just kind of makes me, I like it. Okay, so this is a, uh, I think it's called a pronounced tinscritty table. Uh, so the basic idea is it looks like this table is floating on top of this other ones because there's only strings that look like they hold it up, but they're not really holding it up. Uh, it's really cool, uh, and it's easy to build, and you should build one. So this actually has three strings here. One, two, three. But I'm going to consider these two strings as just one just to make it simpler. Uh, so if you're looking at it from the side. So in this case, what we have is uh, I actually drew a diagram for you too. This piece up here is in equilibrium. So if it's in equilibrium, then there are three, there's two things that are true. Well, three, well, two or three. Let's say I could say it as this way. I could say the net force in the X direction is equal to zero because if it's in equilibrium, then it's not accelerating in the X direction. So that has to be true. Same thing is true for the Y direction. F net in the Y direction is zero. And finally, if it's not rotating, it's a rigid body. If it doesn't rotate, actually, here's a piece of Lego. Then the change in angular position has to be zero, such that the total torque about any point is also equal to zero. That should be net. Net torque. Okay, so this this question right here is uh, pointless. That's because there's no forces in the x direction. But other than that. Uh, we need to first draw all the forces acting on this table. So I give the mass of the whole thing 250 grams and I give the center mass. So that's the first thing. If the gravitational force acts on all parts of this top piece, but we can pretend like it's acting just right here. So I'm going to say mg. Now what other forces are acting on it? Well, it's just two things pulling on it, the tension. Okay. So this string, strings can only pull. So this string is pulling down, I'll call this T1. And this string, here's the trick, this string is pulling up on the table. You see, because it's hanging down below there. So this I'll call T2. So I know that the forces have to add up to zero in the Y direction, so let's write that down. So I have uh, T2 minus T1 minus mg equals zero. I know that has to be true. I don't know T2 and I don't know T1. So there's not much I can do there. Uh, the other thing I know is that the total torque has to be zero. Now, we if this thing is not rotating, it's not rotating about this point. It's also not rotating about that point. It's also not rotating about this point. So you can actually pick whichever point that you want to calculate the, to calculate the torques. Um, I'm going to pick something easy. I'm going to pick this point right here. Okay, it will work no matter where you pick it. If I pick this, remember that torque is equal to about some point O is F R sine of theta. So F is the force, R is the distance from the point to where the force is applied, and theta is the angle between R and F. So in this case, if I'm pushing at the point of rotation, T1 exerts no torque. Okay, so that's not even going to be in my torque equation. So that's cool. So torque net O equals, this one's going to be zero, right? Because it has no torque distance. Now the next one, uh, I can actually use, you can use two, there's two versions of torque. Torque equals F R perpendicular. That's the same thing as this. And there's also torque equals F perpendicular R. So if I find, as long as those two things are perpendicular, that's cool. So I'm going to use this distance right here for this tension. Now, is that going, and it's a 90 degree angle between those two, so that it's just going to be this tension times 2.2 centimeters. I'll convert that to meters, even though you don't have to. Now, the next question is, is that going to be a positive or negative torque? We say torques that if that force is pushing up on this thing, it would make it rotate that way, which is counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is going to be positive. So I'm going to say plus T1, I'm sorry, T2 times the distance, which is 0 0.022 meters. 
And then I'm going to have the torque due to the gravitational force, which is going to be, that would make it rotate in the clockwise direction, which is negative. So it's going to be minus mg times 3 centimeters, 0 0.03. So here's another equation. So I can solve this equation for T2 and then plug it in up here. So let's do that. See, that by picking this problem, by picking that point, I have made an equation with only one variable in it, so that makes it easier for me. Okay, so I have, I'm gonna rewrite that equation. I have zero equals T2 times 0 0.022 minus mg times 0 0.03. I'm gonna add mg to both sides, mg times that, and I get T2 times 0 0.022 equals mg times 0 0.03. Now I divide both sides by 0 0.2, 0 0.022. T2 equals mg 0 0.03 over 0 0.022. <clears throat> so the mass was 250 grams, so it's gonna be 0 0.25 kilograms times g is 9.8 times 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.022. And I left off the units, because that's what I do. So let's put this in my calculator. I get 0.25, 9.8 times, 0.03 times, oops, I just did divide by, let's just start over. 0.25, enter, 9.8 times, 0.03 times, and then divide by this, 0 0.022 divided by, and I get 3.34 newtons. Now I know T2, so I can go back up here and solve for T1. So I can say T2 minus T1 minus mg equals zero. So T1, I'm gonna add that to both sides. I get T1 equals T2 minus, is that right? Yeah, minus mg. That is actually, yeah, that's, that's the magnitude of the tension. It's actually pushing up though. I feel like that's wrong. T2 is pulling up, T1 down, okay. Okay, that's, that's good. So there's gonna be 3.34 minus 0 0.25 times 9.8. Again, calculator time. I actually have that already in there. So let's say uh, 0.25, enter, 9.8 times, subtract. And I get 0 0.89 newtons. And now I have the two tensions uh, for the table. And, and that, that's actually uh, split between these two wires in, re, in real life. Um, but it's, it's technically possible to make it this way with only two cables. It, it would just... Uh, wouldn't be as stable. Uh, so there you go. The end.